But they can move around if they need to. Move that so don't trip over. And one of the most important things is to make sure you've got their wings down, tucked in before you take them out of the bag so they're not flopping and flapping around. I've zeroed this stock stocking. Before I cut the zeroed meaning teared it to zero so that I'm only going to get the weight of the bird and not the stocking as well. Okay. Is it already banded? Nope. Yes. It's a first timer. Mm -hmm. It's a first timer. I'll have to give you the rest of the info on the other one. Okay. A baby. <laughs> It's a baby. So I'm a baby. I was born this year. Cool. So what I was looking for was little corrugations like you would have along the edge of a cardboard box. So uh, the weight is 3.9 on the actual bill. And uh, those corrugations, they're born with them. You know they did. 5.5. As opposed to 5.6 millimeters? Yeah, 5.5, 5.4 in wow. that general area. <laughs> because we're trimming it without measuring it, we don't know precisely how big it is. We just know it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. Because when we have put 5.6 millimeter bands on the males, we've been able to pull them off over their foot. <laughs> they're too loose. They're too loose, yeah, they're too big. Hmm. Hmm. So once we put the band on, then we rotate it a couple of times, make sure that it goes around smoothly and that it's secure and it looks good so this fellow is banded if there was any kind of a problem at all I could let him go now or because we hold them so gently if they manage to flip out of our fingers at least he has the band on so the band goes on to the bill or to the the leg no and the bill is 15.5. That's C U L. Yep, Coleman. 15.5. So your phone is the muscle. And the wing is. Now, if this was a female, I would also um, blow on the chest and belly to see if there's any brood patch. And right now, I'm just looking to see if there's any feathers that are actually starting to turn red. There's some dark feathers, but there's no red anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. No, no red anywhere. So the young birds look exactly like the adult females. Um, and like, you can just put a line through that. That's something I'm doing with the females. The young birds look exactly like the females. So you can see this bird is very white looking on the chest and down through the gorget. And those feathers will start to grow in. It'll start out with just a couple of little red feathers and then over the winter it'll get that nice red gorget. Um, so what I've done is I've... <laughs> I've checked the bill, I've looked for those little corrugations that tell me that this is a young bird. And then also on the feather, you now this is the tricky part, hopefully this bird won't get away on me. The shape. P6, which is this feather here is actually pointed, if you could get a good look at it, it's like the shape of a woman's stiletto shoe with a high heel on it. The female would be just a nice round curve. So that's what tells me that this is definitely a male with that little stiletto shape right there. <laughs> and then the P10, which is the longest feather here on the outside, is very narrow and pointy. So you want to be a boy when you grow up. Her <laughs> wing, her wing, how many feathers would there be? His. 10 primaries and then the secondaries. So we start counting from the outside 10, 9, 8.
So there we go. Can you be more precise as to what's been born this year? No. no. Down from three, and you probably want to snap the picture when I get to one, not when I let go, okay? So if you're focused on the hand, three, two, one. 